Are there just some days where you're in need of encouragement? Hi, my name is Keith and this is my daily walk. Today my daily walk is going to be a little bit different. I haven't really decided on a specific verse for today, but rather than that, um, are there just days where you're needing encouragement from the Lord? I know for me, there's times where I just need to open my Bible, read read some verses, pray over them, meditate over them. And today's one of those days where I just want to share some of the verses that I've um, kind of had as anchor verses in my life. Verses that I read through and think on and pray on that help me to understand the love of God, the grace of God, the compassion of God, the mercy of God, you know, all of the things about the Lord that bring me comfort, they bring me peace, and they bring me joy. So today I'm just going to share a few verses. It's going to be a little bit shorter, so my encouragement to you is that you take some of these verses and read them for yourself. If you're going through a time where you just really need the comfort of the Lord, then open up these verses today, open up your Bible, read through them, and just think about the Lord speaking them to you. So the first verse today is from Matthew chapter 11. Matthew 11, 28 through 30 says, Come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. You will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we shed the weight of the world and we just take on that yoke of Christ, it's not like we're adding a burden on us. What it is is the yoke is actually lifting us up. And so when we take on that yoke of Christ, those burdens that we're carrying, he is carrying them right alongside with us. In fact, he's carrying them for us. And so today, Matthew, um, reading through those verses, just consider that if you've got a burden that's really heavy, just cast it onto the Lord. Psalm 27, 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Often there's decisions that need to be made or things that we're going through in life that cause us anxiety and fear. And when we read through the Psalms, we see that the psalmists talk about the Lord keeping them from fear or giving them strength and hope. And so today, as you read through this psalm, I encourage you to um, cast your fears onto the Lord. Psalm 105, 4 says, Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face continually. When we seek after the things of the world, we will always be let down. There's going to be successes and there's going to be joys and there's going to be, you know, things that we accomplish and victories and so forth. But our true peace, our true um, contentment comes when we seek the face of God. And so as you read through this psalm today, I encourage you to just really seek after the Lord in everything of your life. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in Him. When we trust that the Lord has our interests in mind, then we can be confident that He has everything that we need to get through each and every day. I know for me, trust is a hard thing. I've had situations in my life from early childhood up until, you know, even over the last several years where trust is challenging, whether it's trust of someone in authority or trust of even um, spiritual leaders. Um, there's been challenges with trust. But when we trust in the Lord, we have to know that no matter what situation we're going through, that He has our interest. And our confidence isn't in the people that we put our trust into. Our confidence is in the Lord for those people. And so I trust the Lord for the people that he puts into my life, that he's doing it for a reason. Even if it doesn't seem like it works out the way I think it should, um, I still trust in the Lord and my confidence is in him. Psalm 118.24 says, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I really love that psalm. 
To me, that verse is just like so festive. I can remember a Maranatha worship song from the 90s, I think it was, where it was, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. And I, I just, I actually still sing that song often. And so for me, that verse just brings so much joy. It just helps me to realize that no matter what's going on, we can rejoice in the Lord. And another one is 2 Corinthians 4, 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. I don't know about you, but that whole outer man decaying thing is starting to hit me more and more every day. Recently, I had a little injury on the back of my leg and I'm still fighting it. And that was like four weeks ago. And it's actually, you would think that it'd get better over time, but it's continually getting worse. And so walking is challenging and I can't run. And I, you know, I'm just all of these things where these little aches and pains and I get up and, and if you're older than I am, you're probably laughing right now because you know exactly what I'm talking about. But as we realize our outer body is falling apart, these tents are ripping and tattering. You know, we had that windstorm recently and and, and ice storm and I have a tarp that has a big hole in it now and it's just torn and you know it, it's kind of like our bodies is tense they just fall apart and mine is falling apart rapidly but I have that promise that my inner man the one that's most important the outside man you know it'll wither away but the inner man is being renewed day by day and as I dive into the word and I dive into Jesus I know because I experience it, that I am renewed in my spirit and in my soul each and every day. Even though the outside's falling apart, I can say the inside is being renewed. And I'm thankful for that today. And I have several more um, that I could share. I'm going to just link them in the description. So look below and uh, click on some of those links or at least uh, search those those. Um, scripture references. I'll have every one of them that I've shared today and um, several more, but I'm just going to share one more, Isaiah 25, 8 through 9. And it says, He will swallow up death for all time, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and he will remove the reproach of his people from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken, and it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God, for whom we have waited that he might save us. Let or, or, This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. The coming of the Lord is a much anticipated event. I know at our church and many churches throughout the world, the coming of Jesus is so welcomed right now. We long for the joy of the Lord and his coming. And so as I read through Isaiah here, where it says, um, let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. We have that salvation today. And even though we're not in heaven and we're not face to face with Jesus today, we can still experience everything that he has in its fullness here on earth. And the way we do that is to abide in him so my encouragement to you today is to abide in Jesus, to open up the word, to meditate on these scriptures and more, and to really just fall in love with reading your Bible and meditating on the word. If you need prayer today, we are always here to pray for you. Send us an email, click onto the link below right now and um, come share with us what's going on in your life so that we can walk you through it, walk with you, pray with you and encourage you. And if you like these videos, remember to like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Have an awesome day. May you walk daily in Christ. God bless you.